Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. So today I have a tutorial where we have two sections in our theme builder header and the one section is going to um, stay fixed when you scroll. So think of it as a top section and then a bottom section and when you scroll up the top one goes away and the bottom one stays fixed. I don't really know what to call this tutorial so I'm going to try my best and describe it you know, for the title of the video and the blog post. But I think this is what people are asking for. So when you have a menu anywhere on your page, when you scroll up, it stays at the top. And you can have anything you want in a section above that. All right, well, let's get started and show you what I mean. So this will actually work for any section, any element, any row, any module. So I, I guess I kind of wasn't sure what to call it. But anyway, this is how we're going to make anything sticky. And I'm especially focusing in on the theme builder header because that's kind of a tricky one. So let's start with just a regular section row or module and make it sticky. And what I mean by that is when it scrolls to the top, it's going to stick there. And then when you scroll back down, it'll come back down. And so like if you have something down halfway on the page or at the bottom of the page and you want it to stay fixed, well, if you set it to position fixed in the settings, well, that wouldn't work at all. In fact, let's go over here and I'll demonstrate that. So I want this gray section to stay fixed when I scroll. So obviously we can't go in here and go to the position settings because if we did that and we'd say fixed, well, it's fixed. It's actually there. It's just going behind. So let's say I would do a Z index. It's, it's fixed, but I don't want it to be fixed. I want it to only be sticky. And that means when I scroll up, it becomes fixed. Okay. So we can't do that. So we got to have a different method and we have to use code. So here we go. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you're clicking on the blog post. So go over here and copy this and it's pretty simple. You could probably write this, but position sticky and top zero and index Z index, make it something high. Go over here and go into any, whichever section, row, or module you want to do this to. Just go to the settings, go to the advanced tab, open the custom CSS toggle, and paste it in the main element. Now you probably will get this. Just ignore that. Um, it's just a Divi quirk. It, it's This is CSS, and so Divi doesn't realize that sticky is legit. So just ignore that. Save that and you can see what happens. I scroll up, it stays fixed, scroll back down, it comes back down. How nice. Now you could put a menu in here. Um, what I thought would be cool, I should have demonstrated this, but I didn't get a chance. If you had like a big hero section here and then at the bottom, do you ever see that where you go up? Like there's this big hero section and then as you go up, there's a menu that stays fixed. I thought that would be cool. Good use case for that. Put it on your home page. Now, in the theme builder, it's a bit different. So I'm going to go and back to the tutorial and look at the other method. Like I said, this one's a little bit tricky, but it's pretty easy. Um, it's just pasting two things of code. So to make a theme builder header, part of it sticky. Now we have to follow this tutorial, but if you wanted to make the whole thing sticky, we already had a tutorial on that. The whole thing, we make the entire thing, whether you had five sections or two sections or whatever. So that was kind of a popular one because there's no way to do that. If you, again, if you go into the position settings, there's no way to do that. So anyway, go check that one out. But this one specifically, we want to just have one part of it sticky, kind of like you just saw. So first of all, go and make a theme builder template. And I already have that. And I'm going to actually use this one right here. You may want to use a global header. I'm going to go in here and, you know, go ahead and build whatever you want. Um, I would, envision you building some kind of header at the top like maybe you have a secondary menu right so you might have a menu with items and your social links and whatever but then you have your main menu with your logo and then again when we scroll up we want this green section to stay fixed at the top and then this will disappear so that's the idea here there's no way to do that without this tutorial so let's go back here and make sure we're following along we need to add this CSS class to the section that we want to stay fixed. Well, in my case, I want this green one to stay fixed. Go in here to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, and paste it in the CSS class. 
All right, that's all we have to do. Go ahead and build this however you want. Now back over here, next step is to add some jQuery code. Now, if you don't know where to add any jQuery and CSS, make sure you're checking out this link and that'll bring you here. This is a full guide on where to add custom code in Divi and that's gonna be extremely helpful if you're not quite sure. So anyway, back here, let's go ahead and copy this entire thing here between the script tags. So then we'll go over to our website. All right, so I'm over here in the Divi theme options. So go under Divi, theme options, and then go up here to the integration tab. So whatever you have here, just paste it beyond that. I'm gonna paste that in here. And then of course we're in the add code to the head of your blog section here. Okay, now for the CSS, let's go in here and grab this snippet here. And we're pasting that into theme options. And we always kind of put this right here in the custom CSS box. So let me just explain what this is doing. So up here, this is our code here that we've added and it's saying anything in the theme builder header, it's saying when, when we scroll, we're finding that class, that PA header class, and we're adding and removing this other class, PA sticky header. So when we scroll down, we're adding the class, and when we scroll back up, we're removing the class. So the class is only active when we're scrolling down. And then when it's active, the code that we pasted here, this PA sticky header becomes active. And so when we're scrolling, the position of that header becomes fixed. So that's kind of the trick. We've used this on a lot of our tutorials. That's That works great. So now let's go take a look at it and see if it works. So here we go. This is the theme builder header with the two sections. Let's see what happens when we scroll. Okay, there we go. The green section stays fixed at the top. So again, if you had um, a menu in here um, with your logo and anything like that, whatever you want to stay fixed, you could have anything else you wanted up here. Like I said, a secondary menu, something like that. All right, I hope you enjoy that. Remember, you can use both methods, whichever one fits you the best. Uh, this other, the first method that I showed you was, you know, it was more for just any old place, but the second one, like I said, was a little trickier there with the theme builder. So there you go. Okay, so that's how you have two sections in your theme builder with one that stays fixed when you scroll. I hope you guys like that. If you like that kind of tutorial and you like original Divi tutorials, then, then join us here. This is the kind of stuff we release, you know, once or twice a week. So you know what you're going to be getting. And we'll see you guys in the next video.